I'm going to show you a very simple way of creating some custom animation for your YouTube videos, for your podcasts. It could be for a video that you're creating for work. So if you've seen my previous videos, you may have noticed icons popping up showing uh, various segments of the video or something that's related to something that I'm explaining in that video and they might pop up in the, the corner as well. So I use Apple Keynote. So this is, comes free on uh, MacBooks. So say presentation software, but you can use it also to create these custom animations and then export it as a video file. So I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step how I do that. Let's dive in. So the first example I'm gonna show you is a, a bit of a, a promo little clip that I, I add on to my podcasts um, uh, just to advertise and let people know that where they can listen to the podcast so this is my my podcast box unboxed so I've pre-prepped the graphics copied uh, imported these in um, and made them look look cool and align them so all you need to do is click on your picture or your text and then go to animate over here so I've already added some animation, so I'll just click change. So there, there's three ways to add animation. So there's um, build in, action, build out. So I don't use most of them. I mostly use the movie in one. So the, there's a quite a few different options. So I used move in, so I'll give you a little preview. And then for listen, what I've done is I've put it in as fly in over here and then work your way through because I've grouped these icons to, to come in at the same time and there's some really cool ones so special effects ones so I've, I've used Comet you can use like Confetti there's a few different ones but over here I thought the Comet one looks pretty cool so if we go to play and you can click through all of them so now we're ready to export. We've put in our animations. And now before you do that, what you need to do is create a transparent background. So when you're exporting, if it's left on a filled color, so over here it's white, it'll, it'll export the white as well, so the full slide. So what you wanna do is put no fill, so it's transparent, and then go to export, file, export, export to and then click movie so there's one setting that's important as well is setting it to Apple ProRes 4444 and then export with transparent backgrounds um, and then you can customize the resolution I'm putting it at uh, 1080p 30 frames per second and then click save and save to whatever that that location is so I'm just gonna put it in over here so what you need to do next is whatever video editing tool that you're using uh, could be iMovie could be uh, Adobe Premiere uh, the tool I use um, of choice is Final Cut Pro so I've got my podcast episode here ready and I want to add in the custom animation over here so what I'll do is just grab go to where you've exported it and then just drag and drop drop it in into your timeline and there we go and what you need to do next is just um, tweak uh, and pos tweak the positioning of the graphic that you've created and you also can may want to change the the speed of the clip so let's first transform it and put it over here and it looks looks a bit too big and let's just put it there right and then let's go into preview mode stay out in this charity supporting people right across the UK and he shared some really heartening touching stories um, through the work that he's been doing. There we go. So, so that was a bit too slow, so what I'll do is 
I'll just speed it up, put it on 2x. And then just, just adjust it to what you would like it to be. So that's a bit better, that's a bit, that's a bit quicker. Fantastic. Right, I'll show you another example where I've used icons. So here's some icons I've prepped previously. I've used this on, on one of my videos uh, as well. So where I've got these icons from, you can get it from uh, flaticon.com. It's a great website, so you can get download these for free. Um, and what it asks you to do is just credit them. So, so I'll put the link to where I've downloaded it from the particular respective artist. Um, and then I'll copy that link and put it in the credits in my description in the video. So I would I would do the same as well. So let's say, so this video uh, is about graphics, uh, custom animation. Let's just put animation. And there's, there's tons of stuff that will will uh, come up. Uh, automation is one that I use. So download, download the relevant one and then bring them into Keynote and then add in the relevant formatting and again go back into animation and then add your animation. So I put in move in and I've applied move in to all of them. Let's see how it looks in preview mode. So you can click through and again remember when you export it and then put it into and then import it into your editor you can adjust the timings and again remember to make a transparent background put no fill in the format and then again export as a movie it's got the previous settings there Let's save it here, icons. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro and then grab our icons, drag it in and then let's have a look at the preview. And there you go. So of, of course, we'll need to adjust the positioning of it um, and then uh, obviously attach it to what is relevant to the relevant part of your video. So that's a very quick way. As, as you saw, I actually added the animation in, in like minutes. Um, there were some steps I, I didn't show, but it, it takes you about five minutes and you can get really creative with how you're doing the, the animations as well. Um, and my, one of my more recent videos, I've used it as a, a demonstration to explain explain a certain concept where I was talking about importing events from Excel into Outlook. So it's a great tool. I'm just scratching the surface. If, if you're using it and you're experimenting and using it with video, for your videos, please let me know how you're using it as well. Give me some hints and tips. Well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been helpful, please share with others so they can benefit as well. And hopefully I'll see you soon.